Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we're going to go through everything to show you how you can get Shaman in your copy of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So yes, here we are. So what you want to do now on the back of the announcement on the Pokemon Day Pokemon Presents, we got news that Ox Letter is now coming to Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl. So what you want to do when you're in your game, you want to come to Mystery Gifts from your menu. You want to go to Get Via Internet and this will then connect to the internet and you will receive a gift, Ox Letter. And this is it. So this is the letter that we're going to need to uh, get Shaman in your game. So this is the first step, what you're going to need to do. Really easy, no codes or anything like that are required for this. So as you can see, we will receive the gift and like true slow BDSP fashion takes a little while and there we go. Uh, here you've got Ox Letter. So that is that. The next step is to head up to the Pokemon League because this is where we're going to have to go. And we're gonna, we've got a little path that we're going to have to take to get to Spring Path uh, where is... Uh, Shaman is located. So you want to just follow me down this route here from the Pokemon League and you want to come into the water, just surf down. It's probably worth having a repel and making sure you've got a decently strong team with you as well when you're doing this because otherwise it's going to get a little bit tricky. So I want to make sure you've got your max repel on and then we can go into the cave system here and you want to make your way down this route down here. And you see this entrance to the right of us right now. Um, this is where we're going, um, or heading towards, I should say. So you want to just rock climb down here, come this way, along here, and then you want to come up this path, and then make your way around here, and then into this little cave here. And this will take us into another cave system where we are going to bump into another character once we uh, get the defog activated and you'll see there will be an NPC character here I'm gonna have to play a little bit of a side quest so we this is where you'll get introduced to Marley and Marley how are you I see Osiris it'll help you please I want to get through this tunnel will you let me go with you so we decide to uh, escort Marley for those of you that like shiny hunting of course you're gonna have the chance to encounter the double the amount of Pokemon through this cave system. So I'll try and skip as many of the battles as possible and just show you the route through. Okay, so once you've beat these two, you're gonna make your way to this direction and you're gonna have to be careful here so you don't, uh, can we get uh, these BDSP controllers are annoying. So the D-pad's probably what you wanna use along here just because the analog stick won't allow you to um, kind of get beside the, the rocks and things that you need to. Then you're going to come across this pair as well and the second battle is going to start. Okay, and that trainer done. The next one is up here. So just in between these two. Right, and that is those two done. So you want to just follow this route along. And I think we've only got one. I think these are the last ones. Maybe another set after this. And then we'll be on our way out. Now we want to make our way along here. Yeah, this these are the last pair, I think, before we get going. Right, and now that's that one done. Oh, of course, we've got one more to go. So you want to just make your way. And then this is the final pair that we have to defeat before we're able to exit this cave system and say goodbye to our NPC partner. Right, that is the last one done, and I think that brings us to the end with Marley. Uh, like I say, you want a decently strong team to come in here with. Marley keeps your Pokemon healthy and restores them as you're going through the game. So, like, as you go through the battles, so you don't need to worry too much. So, say, if you want to do uh, shiny hunting and things in the cave system, then you've, you've got the opportunity to without the, re the repel on, and uh, you can kind of wander. But once you're through the cave system, you're going to come to this area here, um, and you want to just make your way. There will be more NPC characters that you're going to have to battle, so you can dodge them, though. And follow them around and we'll try just for speed sake to get past all of them i don't know if we'll be able to get past this one though this one might be impossible to get around no 
seems all right so let's see if we can get past him <laughs> i don't know if we're going to be able to get dodge all of them we should be able to though and then we basically want to be making our way up to this area up here where orc is and you'll see here once we do arrive orc is here ah osiris it's good to see you Without any further ado, I'd like to examine this stone tablet. Something just like it was also discovered in the Kanto region. I want to ask for your help in solving the mystery behind it. So I tried deciphering the stone tablet's engravings. The tablet appears to record the thoughts of the trainers who have grown through adventure. That description would certainly apply to you. That's why I'm asking you to help. You've met many people and Pokemon, though, and those numerous experiences have shaped you into who you are. I want you to sincerely consider who affected you the most along your journey. Tell me, who do you want to express your thanks? Um, who do we want? Ah, oh, we need to. We've got one. We've got one. If this is this is the cart that I did uh, my playthrough on. So we we have got one person. And um, those of you that did see our Sleep Lock Live that we did with this copy of the games, there is only one name, and that is Rick Gasly. I kind of spelled it wrong though. Where's the H come from? I have no idea. Is there a H in it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's most expression of Rick Gasly. So that's who we are praising the most. And uh, after you've put whoever in, I'm guessing you could put any name into that. Spring Path will then appear and Shaman will follow. So here we go. Shaman arrives. And although if you noticed that we did, the um, there was uh, a way for you to get this without the Orcs letter. It was a bit of a glitch. We did cover it on the channel. Um, this might be a bit different. So we'll see how it pans out. Oh, what was that Pokemon? It's somehow connected to the stone tablet. Hmm, where did it go? Its destination is certainly intriguing. And then after that, Spring Path is, a uh, Sea Break Path, sorry, is populated. Spring Path. Getting totally confused, but uh, yeah, Spring Break Path. And we want to make your way all the way up to this area here. Shaman isn't shiny lock either, so you are going to be re able to reset for a shiny. And uh, here we are. So Flower Paradise is where we are and shaman is here so this is probably a good place to save your game if you are wanting to um if you're wanting to uh to to hunt it for shiny or reset on it as a shiny but if you're not you can just hop in and you can start the battle with it engage it and you're going to get this nice little cutscene here we'll take this off for our thumbnail and then we can start the battle with shaman and like i said it isn't shiny locked so you are going to be able to kind of go for it as a shiny pokemon might take a while but it's definitely worth it shaman is a shiny is very cool going to be level 30 so you can uh, you can just throw a ball at it whatever ball you've got and um hopefully it's catch rate i don't know it's catch rate is probably pretty high yeah so but this is the shaman event and you're going to be able to access it doing this in your game the root and everything that you've got friends so i hope that you found it useful friends have a lot of fun getting shaman we obviously have got some other events due in bdsp so we'll probably get the dark cry event at some point and hopefully we've got some more content coming for brilliant diamond chan and pearl like home compatibility and things like that on the horizon very soon so do stay tuned to the channel if you want to stay up to date with the latest news in regards to brilliant diamond channel pill and if you are currently playing legends rcs at the minute do check out our playlist i'll link it over here uh if you'd like to check out some of the guides that we've got going on right now on the channel so thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i will catch you all on another video very soon so until then take care bye bye